Uh, so I'm uploading that uh, uh, video of the last session uh, uh, and I will share the link. But, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I thought I'd share this with you. When I'm uploading this, Google has, uh, sorry, YouTube has now added this new thing where uh, as, as a person who's uploading the con content, it's asking me to declare if, uh, if I have made a real person appear to say or do something they didn't say or do. So I'm saying deep fakes are becoming so, uh, you know, important now that Google wants me to say that, no, I have in my video, I have not made any such, uh, you know, alterations. And it's saying alters the footage of a real event or place. Uh, so I can take some image and, you know, make it look like it's really happened. Like, you know, in a war zone, I can say that somebody was there uh, when they were not there. So I'm saying all this is now possible with a deep fake. And then it's saying, uh, have I generated a realistic looking scene that didn't actually occur? Uh, so I'm just saying that all this has becoming, is becoming so true now that uh, especially for uh, you know social media content, you should be very, very careful uh, about what you get on WhatsApp and how much of it you should believe. Uh, so I just thought that this was interesting to, to share with you. Uh, so anyway, uh, coming back to our, uh, so what we are going to do is uh, I am sharing with you. Uh, so I've got uh, two different cameras working. So just in case I forget to swap the camera, just say that, you know, if you can't see something. So right now I'm showing you a uh, Husky lens uh, on this camera and uh, I'll briefly describe Husky lens and then we'll simply start using it. Uh, so like I said, Husky lens is a, is a vision sensor. Uh, it, it's, it, it is a camera which has some uh, built-in uh, computer vision capabilities. So it, it has some machine learning models which are already embedded in the chip, which help it you know, run some of the functions. Uh, so we have uh, this Husky lens here. And I don't know whether you, you got the cover for this or not, but if you got the cover, this is the sleeve. Uh, so, you know, it's just, it's just to protect, uh, you know, Husky lens. If you didn't get it, it's okay. It's not a big problem. Uh, and so on the Husky lens, the main two things that, that, that are important are uh, this button here, which is basically what we will press when we want to learn something. And, and there is a wheel on this side, uh, which you can turn. So I can turn the wheel and I can press the wheel. So this is all the menu changes. So by turning the wheel, you can change the menu, which we'll just look at. And uh, by pressing it, you can select. Okay, uh, then here you have a micro SD card. So you can uh, save uh, whatever, uh, you know, um, models that you build. If you want to, you can save it onto a micro SD card. Uh, again, it doesn't come with the board. So if you want a micro SD card, you will have to get it separately. Um, then this is the actual camera, uh, uh, which I showed you. I mean, this camera is also available separately uh, and it can be attached to different boards. Um, and then uh, here you've got the USB, which is what you will use to power the camera uh, or to connect it to a laptop or, or things like that. And then on this side, you've got another connector. So along with your Husky lens, you would have got this, you know, four pin uh, uh, set of wires and these come with the connector. So you just take the connector and the connector will fit only one way. So it will not fit the wrong way. So there is no, uh, you know, worries about getting it wrong. So it will just fit one way. And if I'm, if I have the camera like this, then the red wire, the voltage wire is to the right, but it will not fit the other way. Uh, so that's, that's the voltage. Uh, so, so that's, uh, this is what you need to connect the Husky lens, if you want to use a microcontroller, whether it's a, 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 a microbit, Arduino or whatever else. Uh, and then these two here, these are just nuts. So if you want to connect the, uh, uh, if you want this to sit on some other, like you're making an autonomous vehicle and you want to fit it there, then you would have got some nuts and bolts, which you can use to fix the Husky lens. So that's, you know, mainly stuff. And we are really interested in this learn button and this wheel, for the menu, the rest is all all okay. 
Um, and then uh, on the other side, you just have the screen. So once you power it on, so let's power it on. So I'm going to use the USB uh, power. So I'm just taking a USB cable from my laptop and I'm using that only to power this right now. I'm not doing anything else. So when I power it on, you get this Husky lens. And uh, by default, I hope you can see it. Uh, uh, so you have, when you when you will press this wheel here, uh, this, this wheel, so you will get all these, you know, menu options. So you get the first one is face recognition. And the second one is object tracking. Then you have object recognition. So these are all pre-made, uh, you know, models which are there and we'll use some of them uh, right now. Then you've got line tracking. So line tracking, like if you want to make a line tracking robot, you can use that, uh, this function color recognition. So like I said, if you want to make an autonomous vehicle, which can recognize, uh, you know, uh, red signal, uh, green signal, etc. cetera, uh, tag recognition. So this, it recognizes something called April tags, uh, and I'll show you later. Uh, so they are, they, uh, you can print them and use them. So they don't recognize every single, uh, tag, but those particular, what are called April tags. And then you've got object classification and general settings. So this is what I had asked you to check yesterday that if you go on general settings and then you click this top wheel to select it. So now I'm inside the menu for uh, general uh, settings. And then I've got like save and return uh, protocol, protocol type. So protocol type is again, uh, if later on when you're using it, if you're having some problems connecting it, then this is what you will check uh, protocol type. And here, if I, if I click this top button again, so I have kept it on auto detect. Otherwise you can choose. So maybe later on, if you use, if you're using Arduino or something, you can choose serial, what, what baud rate, uh, what baud rate you want, etc. cetera. Uh, or uh, what we will use is really this communication protocol called I2C. This is just, this is just technical information. It just means how will this uh, talk to other devices? So how will your, uh, Husky lens talk to microbit or talk to Arduino. Uh, so I'm saying right now I'm going all the way back. I'm just putting it in auto detect. Okay. So, uh, that is auto detect. Then you've got screen brightness. So you can, if, if your screen is not bright, you can again click the top button and, you know, increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. Uh, and then, uh, there is also an led switch. Uh, okay. So there is a led sometimes when you are making some robot uh, uh, you know, and you are mounting the, uh, the um, Husky lens onto your uh, robot or, you know, some car and it can't see it clearly, then you can switch on this LED light. So you can switch it on. So like you can see, uh, there is a LED, these are two LED lights, uh, which, which get lit up. So it's just an onboard LED in case you want to, uh, in, in case, you know, recognition is not happening properly and you want the thing to be well lit, you can switch it on. And uh, then you also have uh, LED brightness and RGB. So all, all this is, you know, uh, we, we really don't need to do uh, much about this. And this is the only other thing you need to be sure of that, uh, like the version should be 0 0.5 or uh, higher. I don't think there's anything higher. I think this is the highest, but uh, this is important. If it is not this version, then some of the features will not be available. And, uh, I sent you the links yesterday on how to, you know, uh, up upgrade the firmware. So this is the firmware version. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to, um, uh, 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 come out. Uh, so I'm going to come all the way back and I'm saying save and return, uh, save the data. Yes. Uh, so now I'm back into my original menu and here we can select what we want, uh, uh Husky lens to do. So let's start with the project for uh, facial recognition. Okay. Uh, so you, you, I mean, you don't even need uh, the this this other wire right now. This is only when you want to connect the. Uh, I'll leave it on, but uh, you uh, need it only for connecting it to the uh, micro bit or to Arduino or on some other microcontroller. But anyway, since it's on, like the other side is not connected to anything right now. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do some facial recognition. So I have uh, selected, uh, so I'm going to save and return, come back. So face recognition, okay. Uh, 
can you see uh, so that's face recognition and when you are on any category like face recognition or or whatever if you click this wheel again you will come into the sub menu of that function okay so i am now in the sub menu of face recognition so you can see it says face recognition on top and i am in the sub menu and again if i turn the wheel uh, i have got you know other a uh, lot of you know more things you can play with but uh, we really won't use any of these features other than this feature which says learn multiple so whether you want the uh, husky lens to recognize only one face or more than one you have to come here okay so you have to uh, say in learn multi multiple click and then toggle okay so toggle to switch it on or off okay so i'm repeating so i'm i'm going to come out save and return yes so i'm saying i was here this is my main menu so i can do all these things here i'm selecting face recognition then i'm clicking this button so now uh i am in the sub menu of uh face recognition and by again by turning the wheel left and right i can move and i am selecting multiple and i am switching it on then i am coming to save and return save and return yes so now my husky lens is on face recognition and it can learn multiple images which is what i want okay so let's try to learn some images so what i have done is uh i've got lot of devices here and they all you know start behaving a bit weird <laughs> they will jump so in case you are not able to hear me or something just say it out loud that you you can't see or you can't hear me okay uh, so what i have done here is uh let me just change this a little i i want to teach it face recognition one second okay uh so i'm going to share the screen again uh so i'm i'm saying that uh you know you when you are using it you can take each other's photographs but because i can't do that so i'm just using i put some photograph uh on my ipad and i'm going to uh you know use my husky lens to do face recognition <laughs> i've already put a model i mean i'm going to forget this model but it's already doing that because it's running what i loaded earlier so i had made a model where uh, this is my wife this is me and i had trained it to say you know recognize the face and i tagged it just like you tag you know on uh, uh, facebook etc so it's recognizing and tagging but anyway let's let me go through the process so uh, so now uh, so when you want uh, husky lens to forget something you just click this and it will uh, if it has learned something it will say it will give you the option to forget and you can uh, you know then click it again and it will forget whatever it has learned so i have cleared the earlier model so this is how when you will start this is how in face recognition your camera should look uh, that whatever number of faces it's seeing it should be able to uh, recognize them as faces so i'm going to focus on one face and then uh, uh, uh then i'm going to click this right button okay so i'm going to click it and hold it and uh uh it's saying click again to forget but uh so it, can you see there is a arrow uh, there is a plus mark okay can you see there is a plus mark on the screen so you have to put that a plus on the face you wanted to recognize so once you have it the plus mark on the face you want to recognize then you click the right button and uh it's it's learning something right now it's it's assigning it wrong because it's got some uh, uh in your case it will just say id1 okay i had written some program where id1 was supposed to be atul so that's why it's calling this atul which i'll change later but anyway the point is that it has learned the first face and now you can point it to the second face okay and then again you see the plus mark and you put the plus mark and you uh, take the photograph again 
Okay. So now it should it should say like whatever ID in your case, it will not give any name. It will just simply say ID one and ID two. Okay. So I'm going to stop here uh, because I want you to try this out and then we'll, we'll, we'll proceed. Uh,